There's a clock tower in Hereford where the names of the dead are inscribed. We try to honor their deeds, even as their faces fade from our memory. Those memories are all that's left when the bastards have taken everything else. What happened? He killed Soap. He's gone, Mac. What do you need from me, son? A location. Our Russian says Makarov used to cache weapons at an old castle near Prague. He's got nothing more solid than that. Can you trust him? What choice do I have? He's got his own reasons for wanting Makarov dead. Place ring any bells? Aye. We ran drones over a suspect castle back in Zakiev's day. But we never got wind of our targets visiting the area. What am I up against? The place is a fortress. Only one way in or out. <laughs> Unless you've learned to fly. Security office on the far side of the compound, and a command center north of that. Both were heavily guarded. If Makarov's there, he'll be in that control room. What's this you're sending me? Equipment list. That's a lot of hardware, John. What you plan on doing? What you taught me to do. Kill them all. Yeah, we are definitely nearing the end. I think there's only like a few now. Like, three? I want to say three. Let's see. We'll So another sneaky, sneaky mission. Light them up. I think they've been lit up. I'm not too sure. No, they have not. Actually, there's quite a few sneaking missions in this stealth missions, or whatever you want to call them. Nice sleep done, nicely played and all that stuff. Oh, you guys would be so dead. Get to plant one. Sweet. I feel useful now. Oh, now I can get up. 
Nice. Keep going. All right. Already you handle it. Oh, you've been handled. Clear. They've got cameras outside the command center on both sides. Here and here. Yeah, well, we just have to knock on the door. Ooh, I like this. So I'm gonna take it. A little souvenir for me. Can't they not see the friggin' Oh yeah, maybe not. Or maybe it was their uh yeah, maybe it was their laser. No, it's ours. Huh. I just noticed that. We're going old school now. Gun. I will say probably Scar is probably one of my favorites. So I can't remember if it's. I don't think it was in. No, I don't. I don't believe it was in uh, COD Four. Uh, but it's been in Modern Warfare Two and uh, of course Modern Warfare Three, as we're seeing. Uh, it's always been a favorite of mine. And when it is available, I'll, I'll tend to uh, pick it. Oh crap. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Come on, Mr. Price dude. There we go. It's safe. Yuri's got this. Well, if they find their dad, we'll just make more dead, that's all. Oh, you're waiting for me? Okay, sure. Oh. Hey, I'm useful again. For whatever reason, this makes me think of uh, of uh, Call of Duty Three when you had the whole, uh, which I quite liked actually, where you had to uh, do a few different things to plant C4 and or satchel charges or whatever. And uh, I, now, obviously, I know why they added it. It was added for the Wii version, and they actually applied it to Xbox and PlayStation Three, and. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't like that aspect where we basically had to put the pin in and, and uh, plant it, put the pin in, and then do some different, some, you know, some different uh, motions or whatever to uh, plant the, uh, you know, satchel charge or whatever. I like that though. I thought it added something a little, a little mini game kind of thing, especially when you're uh, in a, the heat of battle. And I uh, like that.
Uh, unfortunately, with the, the whole mini game within a game kind of thing, uh, I don't think they'll ever do again. But I would like to see it maybe added in like uh, Search and Destroy or you know some kind of game mode like that, because uh, it would add a little extra tension or whatever. You have to do like a few different steps to to uh, arm the bomb. But I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with me. He's burning up. I think the, uh, seeing that blood splatter, I think the first time I've ever seen uh, that blood splatter. Now, you gotta realize, when I, the first real first person shooter game I've ever played, well, maybe it was Quake, but uh, did he just like shoot that at me? Uh, first shooting game was probably Quake, and uh, I've only played that briefly online against uh, actually Tyson, you know, uh, our Booyak 85, and it was on like 28.8k dial up, pretty horrendous actually. Uh, but uh, th that was probably like, really the only first person shooter I really got into, and it wasn't even all that much. It, w it wasn't my computer, so didn't really have time to practice or anything. Uh, my first real shooting experience was uh, Goldeneye on the N64, uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm sure. Uh, Goldeneye was like the game that kind of got me into shooting. Oh shit. Uh, got me into shooting games. I think the biggest reason was is that I was never into like Doom and all of these monster guts flying everywhere kind of uh, games. Uh, I liked the... Well, I mean, it's James Bond, obviously, but I mean, I like the overall objective, realistic kind of uh, dudes, you know, humans fighting humans, military, whatever you want to call it, kind of uh, gameplay. I like that. But anyway, I'm kind of getting off topic uh, when we talk about uh, Blood Splatter, but I bought uh, Perfect Dark on the N64, and I remember it had, uh, uh, unlike Goldeneye, it had blood and gore and whatever else in it or as much gore as you could possibly have at that time I guess and uh, I remember seeing the blood splatter for the first time in that game I thought I was like oh my god <laughs> so it kind of it for some reason that the freaking blood splatter made me think of that is that another one? okay I thought that was another intel. Something's telling me I should have kept the other gun. Or I could take this, I guess. Maybe 
over here, reload. Oh, come on. Fine, we use this one. Holy freak, he came up here quick. Hmm. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, just where I want to go. Or where I had to go, rather. Detonate the C4 on the bridge. Come in. I don't know, every time something like this happens, I always want to hum the James Bond theme. <laughs> so that's it for that one. On to the next. We're almost done.